What is the Collegiate Science and Technology Entry Program? They provide a lot of students in the college level, that's where I am, with a lot of opportunities like networking opportunities. They provide you with different resources like workshops. Hopefully get them in as freshmen and then support them during their freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year and get them ready to either enter the profession or sometimes go on to graduate school. The C-STEP program is a useful tool and resource for students uh, to provide direction for them in the future, uh, academically, career-wise, even in their personal lives. C-STEP is opportunity. Uh, it's a repository of information and help that you can't find anywhere else. Um, it helps us to really just enhance our learning as we're going through school. Um, there's many opportunities for us to um, learn more about our careers and we also get to help mentor other students, the high school students who are coming up to kind of help them decide where they want to go with their careers. A way of helping me re reach my goals and it has allowed me to meet with my mentor and talk with a person that has similar career goals and is willing to help me achieve the goals that I want to. It allows the student uh, to be able to tap into help if he needs help or to help others that might need help. Uh, it opens doors that otherwise wouldn't be opened so easily. Uh, it allows the student to progress as more than just a student. What does C-STEP do for the academic community? When we first begin to work with students, we identify, along with the students, what are some of the extracurricular activities or opportunities that they need to access that will help the students achieve their career goal. It's um, selective and um, students become a real family here. When they're in the, in the CCAP program, they, they feel that they're part of a very important community and I think that's part of the strength of the program. I think those of us who are at the university level ought to be talking directly to the K through 12 um, administrators, principals, teachers, uh, departments and boards of education uh, in various cities across this nation. You know, they make transition from high school to the university. They make transition from university to careers or from university undergraduate studies to graduate studies. And C-STEP is important at helping students to make transitions at every level. Before, I definitely thought it was something that I wanted to pursue, but I was not 100%, and I was actually very scared to pursue it because it's a decision where I'm going to have to do this for every day for the rest of my life. It's my profession, it's my career, and by doing some job shadowing, I thought, you know, it's okay, but I kind of put it in the back of my head and wanted to pursue something else. I gave the C-STEP program a shot, I came here and it definitely clarified that I wanted to pursue this career 100%. Uh, the STEP program exposes them, they give them internships, provides them with that opportunity as well as career awareness and academic advisement and personal advisement. The C-STEP program takes them a step further. It provides them with the opportunity to meet and greet individuals from industry and uh, go out into the workforce and see what careers are there for them. We involve students in research pro projects, uh, both inside the college and outside the college. Quite a few students go away to external sites in the summer uh, across the country. We've had students go to foreign countries as well, uh, namely Finland and Singapore, uh, on fellowships, and it's a very exciting opportunity for them. I found it was very encouraging to meet with the mentors of the program and especially with other students who are pursuing um, some of the 
the disciplines and the subjects that I was interested in. Well, in my particular case, it's very important to me because I thought of optometry as a profession and on my own I did a few job shadowing experiences, but through the CSTEP program I was able to come to the university that I intend to go to and they got me to stay here for over a week and really see an inside perspective and a side of the field that I wanted to pursue that I may not have seen if I didn't participate in the C-STEP program. Well, I mean, I wasn't sure at first what I should be doing, and I think they provided me with one of the biggest opportunities is to, let's say, go to a hospital and go through a neonatology department with the chief of staff there and show me everything that goes on, something that I was interested in and I wasn't sure that was for me. So they took me there and I saw everything that goes on there. I see the little children and how they're cared for and it's something that I know I would genuinely enjoy and it was something that would truly make me happy and they provided me that opportunity. And well, C-STEP actually offered me, um, they, were all, they were instrumental in being a channel and getting me involved in an internship program here um, at the College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering. Um, I had always been interested about what went on here at the building and I wanted to do something with my career but I didn't know exactly what I could do as a mathematics major and a computer science. So they got me involved in this internship program and it was through this internship program that I discovered that there was no place else that I would rather be than here on site, being involved in nanotechnology. I think when you have hands-on you just feel more connected with what you're doing and so you're working at it, you're being dedicated and it just it feels real. You're applying it to a real-life situation as opposed to just reading about it. So for me it's always better to do lab. If I can remember anything that I think was really pivotal in my success of being able to graduate as a science major um, and I did graduate from being into my 91 with my nursing degree was the phenomenal tutors that we had available through the program and we would do group sessions and some individual sessions and you know I don't remember anyone ever saying to me I can't meet with you it was all about well when can we do this um, let's do it again um, it's okay that you don't understand it the first time um, and they were really extremely helpful so you know, to all of the unnamed tutors, because I don't remember their names that were paid through C-STEP, thank you very much. Um, it, it, it definitely made a difference in my life. What community of students does C-STEP serve? So one of the reasons for targeting science, technology, engineering, mathematics is that the technological workforce is very much dependent on these areas. And, and for example, there are numerous reports that suggest, suggest that the U.S is inadequately prepared to meet the coming workforce in those areas. First of all, we've got a problem in, in American society, United States of America, uh, with getting more people uh, into the areas of science and technology and producing teachers um, in these areas. Well, pretty much the statistics speak for themselves in the sciences, uh, underrepresented individuals minority students, African Americans, Hispanic, Latinos, Native Americans, make up less than two to three percent of the PhDs in the fields in the sciences, uh, whereas they make up uh, more than 20 percent of the population in, in the United States. So there's a great disparity between the number of people and those who are going into the professions. First of all, there are not enough minority uh, doctors, minority optometrists in the field and being that we're located in New York City which is the hub of a uh, you know multicultural uh, multi-ethnic uh, society uh, is good for uh, patients that come to the clinics to be able to see uh, doctors of their own kind working at the clinic and also to make them uh, feel more at ease in doing uh, eye exams or any kind of other medical care that that students are providing. 
I've had many, many uh, patients uh, who have been Hispanic, uh, especially Puerto Rican patients, where I've been able to communicate directly in their native language. And I think it, it, it helps them really uh, express uh, their concerns and their particular ailments, uh, and it gives them more confidence in their physician. Um, and I think that that really makes a difference in, in the overall care of the patient. And that we need to be able to have people to have the right and choose to go to whatever doctor they want, whether it be black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Indian. But I believe that we definitely need that out there, that sense of diversity, the sense of a different mind frame. A lot of African-American doctors potentially have come from different backgrounds. Other minority students have come from different backgrounds that they can all incorporate and bring into the medical field. What impact is C-STEP making in the lives of these students? They're very helpful. They're understanding. They put you in a comfortable environment so you can better learn your subjects. And they treat you pretty much like family. They are family. I don't want to say they're like family. They are family. Well, one thing I got definitely was a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the professors in the science departments here at Old Westbury. And that helps a lot because when you need extra help, whether it be with a lab report or grasping concepts, you can always ask any of the professors whether or not they are your instructor. And they're always willing to help and give you um, some extra input and advice and guidance. What C-STEP gives you is a kind of confidence. Do you understand? You have somebody there helping you along, telling you that you can do it. And that's what's been so important. It gives you, like, the courage to take the next step or consider maybe a master's. I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, I remember there was a workshop on how to write uh, research papers. And just about a week after that uh, workshop, I needed to write a research paper. And, you know, it just fitted right there and it helped me a lot. When my my own family, we don't know anything before I, I came along. We didn't know anything about the science field. I was the first person who was actually interested in it. So basically everything I've learned of who to talk to, you know, what to say, when to say it, that kind of thing I've learned mostly from C-STEP. I will always have another family. I know that the program will um, I always have people that I can come back to and talk to, people that I can you know, rely on for anything. They've helped me. I'm planning on starting grad school next year and, you know, taking a practice GRE test and everything. That was great preparation, good recommendation letters from faculty members here, from the director of the program. C-STEP has, has not only uh, shown me ways that I can be better, but have, have given me uh, a future that I can see and a stability uh, that for me and my wife, we, we know that we have, and that's a, a large, large peace of mind. In terms of a broad-based program that includes the people who need it most, and in selecting those people, we really have a quite, quite of a, a, an inclusive uh, policy. In terms of you know, those characteristics, uh, I think C-STEP is really the way to go. These are our young academics, our hope, and New York's future.
light is the stimulus, stimulus that synchronizes the biological clock to the environment. Gap junctions, and these allow intercellular communication between adjacent cells. There was a high density of bacteria found in Guyan Creek, especially coli and coliform. Find, trying to find a suitable treatment for stroke therapy. And step three has been found to be activated in approximately 50% of cancers. To improve it so that it won't crash into obstacles. The amblyopia is an ocular disease that affects the visual processing centers of the brain. There's also a home testing kit which can be picked up at local drugstores. These are our young academics, our hope and New York's future.